Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm a little under the weather today. I apologize for the scratchiness of my throat and any snot that comes out of my nose or mouth. That was really disgusting. But I wanted to pop on here and do a quick Lush haul. I bought most, not all, of the new Halloween range. Well, just like the bath products. You guys know I don't usually venture into like shower gel and that kind of stuff, but I got all the fun new bath products. And actually, there's not that much new stuff. I think there's two new things that I picked up. Everything else is a repeat. The repeats I do love though. And so yeah, I just wanted to do a quick haul, show you guys what I picked up and what's new and what things smell like. And I have my app so I can describe things to you. So let's do it. I will say in comparison to the Christmas range, the Lush range, or the Lush, the Halloween range is nothing. The Christmas range has so much new stuff and I cannot wait. And while I'm excited about the Halloween stuff, I'm much more excited about the Christmas stuff. So first thing we have is a repeat, but I do love it. It is the Monster Ball Bath Bomb and it's so cute. Look at his little monster eye. He's a Cyclops. He's like Mike Wazowski. This smells very citrusy. It's fruity lime and neroli. I don't know what neroli is, but I've read that in a lot of ingredients in like Lush products. It looks kind of similar to the Twilight Bath Bomb because it creates that like pink and blue frothiness. It's beautiful and I love it. That is a chocolate chip. It's not my favorite when a chocolate chip is in the Lush products because like it's melted chocolate in your bathtub, but it's necessary for the cuteness. Yeah, I love the Monster's Ball. He's really cute. Let's do all the bath bombs first, which I think that's just two others. You know, this is gonna be a quick haul. Well, I probably will talk for 45 minutes anyway, but I don't have that much stuff. <laughs> One of my favorites every year, and this is out from Halloween through Christmas. This is the Lord of Misrule bath bomb. It smells incredible. Ah, oh, it smells so good. It smells very similar to Twilight, so if you like that, you'll like this bath bomb, I think. This is described as spicy, which I guess I understand, but it's not too spicy, because I wouldn't normally like portray myself as somebody who likes spicy. It says spicy herbal blend of patchouli and black pepper oil. But what makes this Halloween is the outside green exterior, but in the water it becomes kind of like blood red. It's like a deep maroon color and there's popping candy inside and it's just a really good bath bomb. I always buy a couple. I love Lord of Misrule. I think this is like the fourth or fifth year that it's been out and I, I just, I love it. Now we'll get into the new bath bomb. This is pretty cool. It's the eyeball bath bomb. Kind of looks like a boob. This says it has, ooh. Lavender, rose, and ylang ylang oils. Very floral. Mmm, that's good. Not really how you think an eyeball would smell. <laughs> but I just love this idea for Halloween. I think it's pretty genius. I don't know how they haven't thought of it sooner. And that doesn't appear to be a chocolate chip, so that's good. But it's just a really cute, creepy eyeball, and I think it's fun. I can't, I, let's see if it says what color it is inside. It doesn't say. But I'm sure that this isn't just gonna be white. I'm sure there's like a fun color on the inside, so. We'll see and I'll let you know. There is one more bath bomb that I didn't pick up, or I think there's only one more. There might be two more, but I am just not into the jelly bombs. Yeah, it's just one more. I am just not into the jelly bombs, so I didn't pick it up, but it's the ectoplasm jelly bomb. Um, it has like cute ghosts on the outside of it. I just can't, I can't deal with the texture. So I got to pass on the jelly bombs, which stinks because they have some really good smelling ones. They have a coconut smelling one that smells really good. They have like a turtle shaped jelly bomb that I really wish that I could have all the time, but the jelly bombs just ain't for me. There is a new soap that I actually picked up, but before that I picked up, I love this. I love the scent of this. I love everything about this. This is the Bewitched Bubble Bar. It smells like strawberry, I think. To me, this smells exactly like the um, Peeping Santa Bubble Bar, which they didn't bring out last year and it's not coming back again this year. They have like, that's the one that looks like it's a strawberry. They have it in a soap form, so maybe that smells the same, but I do love that. That's like in my definite like top 10 Lush products of all time is that Peeping Santa Bubble Bar. So I'm happy that this smells the same or at least similar. It just describes it as fruity, but I'm pretty positive that there's strawberry in this, but it just smells so good. It is a little bit staining on the tub because it is black bubbles. Also, they don't really come out black. They come out gray, at least for me in the past they have. But I love the way it smells so much. It's just so freaking cute. You can't pass it up. Mainly the smell. Oh, so good. The other thing I didn't pick up was the sparkly pumpkin, which I obviously wanted, but my Lush was out of it. And I, I think I still have one from last year. I will insert a clip of what it looks like. It's an amazing sparkly pumpkin. I always say every year, if you have a friend that has an October birthday, they probably love pumpkins and it would be an amazing birthday gift just because it's so sparkly and cute. But yeah, I didn't pick that one up this year, mainly because they didn't have it. And also because I have way too many bubble bars and I think I already have one from last year. But I did pick up this ghost soap. 
mainly for decoration, but how freaking cute. I guess you'll have to see it close up. It smells really good. It smells like lemongrass. So this is called Ghost in the Dark. So it's citrusy and it has lemongrass and it has cocoa butter, moisturizes your skin. Ooh, I need to try this tonight in the shower. I mean, I just wanted this for my soap dish in the bathroom, but like I also want to use it. I'll probably leave him out as decoration for um, the next couple weeks and then start to use him as it's more towards November. But he's just so cute. I thought this was a really good idea. And I thought pretty affordable for like this good size a bar. It was seven bucks. And sometimes I feel like the soaps can get a little bit pricey and you only get a little sliver. So I thought this was a pretty good deal. I mean, I guess that's still a lot for a bar of soap, but, but it's a cute bar of soap. This is Amy from the future coming at ya. I just discovered this soap is glow in the dark. That's crazy. Okay, back to regularly scheduled programming. But okay guys, that is it. I should go rest my voice. But thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was short, but I wanted to show you guys anyway. I get a lot of requests for Lush videos, so any chance to do one, I grab. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Please let me know your favorite looking item from this collection or if you've used it or what you're looking forward to buying. All that jazz, let's just talk Lush down in the comments. I love you guys. I will see you very soon and I hope you have a great day. Bye.